Okay, I am Tane Danger. I am here outside Gustavus Health Services on Give to Gustavus Day, and we are with Nissa. I'm super excited to have you uh, show us what's going on because it seems like this is like a very important place probably always but right absolutely now. yeah all right so what it happens is. should we go so, outside yes when you come to health service you will call and let us know or work with one of our fabulous student workers who would be sitting outside to get your temperature taken and get your covid screening questions because we want to keep health service safe so come on in and i'll take your temp okay this is good uh this is good oh my gosh this is so fun uh, right this is i trust this have you ever seen uh, the movie No Country for Old Men? I have not. Yeah, there's a similar device, but it has a different outcome. Anyway, how do I look? You are perfect. I am? Go yes. On. I'm going to get your cameraman quick, too, just to make it all official. Okay, this is good. Uh, who won? Uh, me? You were just a couple point, a couple tenths apart from each other. Oh. And cameraman, what is your first name? Nick. Nick, awesome. All right, so the main door you came in, this is going to be considered our regular clinic side. So if you're well and you need to be seen for things, lab draws, medications, um, you get stung by a bee outside, which always happens over Nobel, this is the side that you'll come to and be seen. You, people always get, do we release bees <laughs> during Nobel? We always get bee stings during Nobel. Now it'll be interesting without as many people here to see if that happens, but yeah. usually it's beautiful days. People are having picnics. The bees love the food. It happens. Okay, so <laughs> uh, just, I needed to clear that up. All right, so if I'm healthy, I come in this door. Yes. If I'm unhealthy, there yes. is a There's a door. new second door down the hall closer to Hillstrom and you'll be directed to that door, but we are gonna walk through health service and give you a little tour on how we connected to our new respiratory clinic side. Oh, I love this, respiratory clinic. Yes, follow me. Okay, this is good. Lots of plastic, I'm noticing. Lots of force fields. Yes. Uh, lots of... Oh, all looks fun. Uh, right. Hello. This is Kelly, one of our fabulous nurses. Hi, Kelly, fabulous hello. nurse. How and are you? And we're setting up for our flu shot clinic later today. We have another one on October 6th, Tuesday. So make sure you get your flu shots. Yes, everyone get all of the flu shots. I'm going to get several. Um, okay. <laughs> I can't get enough flu shot. Right. Biohazard. What's in there? So this is where we would put all of our lab work. So if we do any blood draws or anything, we put that there till the courier comes to pick it up. Okay, that's fun. Ooh, so never, here, so many things back here. Right, this is our new space. So we have four exam rooms that they added. So we doubled our space, which is delightful. Um, this exam room is our main exam room set up. Whoops, set up for seeing patients. Um, especially if they have symptoms and need a full evaluation. If people are coming in for just COVID tests, we have less full rooms um, that they can be seen in. Okay, so four yeah. new rooms, Yep. Uh, increased capacity. Mm -hmm. This is very good and healthy. There's nobody, yes. there's no one here right now. Is it, is, have the bee stings not started yet? <laughs> right, so they are not awake yet. Oh, they're God. still sleeping, kind of like our students, they're still sleeping yeah. in. No, so this side is for our mostly COVID-like symptom students. So this is our respiratory clinic. So if you're not feeling well, this is the side you'll be seen on. This morning we've had some meetings, so we just haven't started seeing patients yet this morning. But right after this, we start seeing patients and then we're kind of back to back up until noon when we start our flu shot clinic. Okay, I'm gonna just ask the question I feel like it's probably, everybody is like, yeah. do you feel like you're on top of all of this? Do you all feel like you have what you need mm -hmm. to like keep this place safe and the students mm -hmm. responding to the fears, concerns, worries that they have? Great question. Right now I would say yes. But recommendations are changing within the day. And so if something comes from public health that we need to start testing a lot more students, then we're stuck between this rock and a hard place of do we increase our testing capacity and decrease our ability to see students in other ways? How do we find that balance? So we have three uh, mid-level providers, two nurse practitioners and a physician assistant right now. And then we have um, two nurses and then our admin staff. So we are very clinic-like and we are fortunate compared to some of our colleagues, but with COVID that's adding extra stress and we're having to kind of maneuver what we want to be doing and what our priorities are. And that changes day by day. So it changes day by day, but right now you're feeling good. Like you're, you're got things under control and you're do. doing what you like. Yes, I do feel like we're doing okay right now. I think we are all working very hard and it's just, you know, navigating the new, but I think we're doing okay right now. And this is the other thing that everybody's talking about, but I mean, you all, I mean, 
very important, but you're kind of like a last line of defense. There's all these things that all of us are supposed <laughs> to be doing so that we don't end up coming to see you, hopefully. Right. We love to help students out, but ideally wear your mask, socially distance, keep that you know physical six feet between people, do your best, wash your hands, get good sleep so you don't get run down, all the things we talk about all the time to keep yourself healthy with the addition of the social distancing and the mask. This is good. All right. Um, well, thank you so much for yes. this whirlwind tour of health yeah. services and keeping everyone healthy and safe. So uh, this is great. Yes. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, th I, if you did, if you needed a reason to give before, like this, we're literally seeing people saving lives right. here. So like, <laughs> this is the time to give. Uh, thank you. Yes. Uh, give to Gus Davis. Go Gusties. Yay! That's a perfect note to end on. Yay! That's great. <laughs>